The first reason why you should watch X Company is because it's based on a real story. Having Camp X as its unofficial name, the spy school is seen on the show was a World War II paramilitary and commando training installation located on the northwestern shore of Lake Ontario. For more information about the real stories behind the show and for a few curiosities about Camp X, you can access the show's website on cbc.ca slash xcompany. Between gunshots and bombs exploding, we can see that the partnership between our favorite spies isn't due only to their work. In many occasions, we see them looking out for each other and even getting a drink. Or two. Or more than three. But who's counting, right? Not every hero has superpowers, and our allies are the living proof of that. Let's start with Tom Cummings, handsome tall guy who is very good with words, choosing them as his weapon instead of a gun whenever it's Here possible. To build resistance, right? Not kill civilians. Then we have Harry James, short guy, glasses, no lightning scar nor wand, but he sure can do some magic with a mouse machine. I'll keep moving the fat will never find me. Next we have Neo, the guy sure knows how to throw a punch, but he wouldn't say that's his most remarkable characteristic. He's a very fair man with a very poetic heart, which we learn on the season finale. Oops, spoiler alert! What you are. And you'll give anything, everything, to get that back. Aurora Luft, that woman is indeed a surprise. That is, if you don't know how strong the woman can be, Hansel eyes, blonde hair, nice dresses, and a freaking amazing strength. She sure is one of the characters I look up to. The way she is written and how she is portrayed by the amazing actress that is Evelyn Bershu, it feels great to see such strong female character on TV. That's great. Everyone has some secret talent. And last but definitely not least, we have Alfred Graves. Well, that one is the closest thing you get to a person with superpowers. Alfred has a rare condition called synesthesia, and because of that, he has a perfect memory, which, according to him, can be a burden sometimes. One thing that surprised me while watching the pilot was seeing how much strength can fit into such a small body. Girl power is real, folks. I think it is amazing to see that on the show, we don't have only Aurora as a strong, powerful woman to inspire us and make us feel empowered. Plot twist. I don't know if this is the right expression to use here, but oh my. I spent the whole season hating on Franz Faber, only to drown myself in tears with him on the season finale. This was definitely the most emotional scene on the show. All the awards to Torben for that. <laughs> and that's it guys, the second season of X Company premieres in winter 2016. Oh, and before I go, just a little piece of advice. This guy? Don't ever be this guy. Also find the name of Mats of Hören. In the richtigen Unterbrechung ihres Sohnes. Was haben Sie?